So, do you want to be a Roblox YouTuber but you don't know how to even record your gameplay? Or maybe you just want to record your computer screen in general? Well, today I am going to help you figure out how to do that. Today, I will be teaching you guys how to use OBS Studio to record your Roblox videos or any other videos on your computer. So let's get right on into the video. So the first thing you're going to want to do is open your web browser and type OBS and open this first link. It should be obsproject.com and it should take you here and you're going to choose Windows, Mac OS or Linux based off of like whatever computer you're using. So for me, I would use Windows, but I cannot actually walk through the downloading process, unfortunately, because I am recording this with OBS actually and I'm not allowed to like download OBS when I already have OBS. So unfortunately I can't show you guys. So I'm really sorry about that. When you're downloading it, all you have to do is click this and it'll automatically download for you. But now let's just get right on into OBS. But when you open OBS, yours probably won't look like this because I have my OBS all set up and everything. So first of all, yours might have the dark theme or the light theme. This is just a theme that I chose, it's the Acri, but I'll show you guys how to change that later on in the video. So yours might be like small or like this or full screen like mine is, doesn't really matter. What you're gonna wanna do first is right here, press the plus and add scene and then click okay. If I click OK, then it's going to take me off of the scene that I'm on and then you won't be able to hear me anymore or see what I'm doing. So I'm going to press cancel, but you're going to press OK to get your first scene in. I don't remember if you actually, when you first open it, it has a scene already made for you, but if it doesn't, that's how you make a scene. Now over here, I'm going to show you how to do three things. I'm going to show you how to capture your entire desktop. I'm going to show you how to add your microphone and I'm going to show you how to capture only a specific game. So I'll explain the last one when we get to it. So first, desktop. You're gonna press the plus, you're gonna press display capture, and then you're gonna press create new. If you have an existing one, which you probably don't, because I'm assuming this is like your first time ever using OBS. But if you do, then you can press existing and click your existing one if you want to, or you can create new. And if you're new and you don't have any, then just create new and name it whatever you want. I have mine called desktop, but I'm just gonna name it display capture. And you're gonna press okay, and then you're gonna choose your monitor or your screen. So if you're using two monitors, you're gonna have to choose which monitor you want. And if you wanna have the second monitor captured, you're probably gonna have to do a completely new display capture for that monitor. But you're gonna pick your monitor and it should be already picked for you actually. So your primary monitor should already be picked. So you probably don't even have to worry about pressing anything. And you're just gonna click okay. Now I'm going to delete this because I don't need two display captures, but you're going to, or two desktop, you can, you're, you're going to keep yours <laughs> unless you don't want it, then delete it. But you just press delete on your keyboard and then click yes or to delete something or you can right click it and press remove and then click yes and then it's gone. So now I'm going to show you how to add your microphone to, um, OBS. So what you're going to do is press the plus and then you're going to press audio input capture. And so again, if you have it existing already, then add existing, but you probably don't. So you're going to press create now. You're going to, for device, you're going to pick your microphone. For me, it's the Yeti microphone, but for you, it could be completely different. And you're going to choose that microphone and you're going to click OK. But I am also going to show you for your mic, you can also turn down the volume and mute it. And I'm going to show you how. So right here, you can turn down the volume. Um, I probably just got quieter. That's kind of awkward. I don't know. But you can just take the slider and turn it up and down. And if you click this, it'll um, mute. Okay, so now I'm going to show you how to do a specific game. So what you're going to want to do is actually open up your game. So I'm going to go and I'm going to get into a game of Roblox and I'll be right back when I'm in Roblox. Um, okay, so I'm in Roblox. I'm just on this random account that I made, sub to Azora, which you should totally do. Um, but anyways, I'm just in- why is this girl following me? What is she doing? <laughs> on OBS, you're going to press the plus again. And you're going to do game input cap game capture, not input, game capture. However, if you're on Mac, 
I just want to say, unfortunately, you can't do game capture. Um, it's just, I don't know why it's not available on Mac. It's just not, so. But you're just going to click game capture. Name it whatever. Same stuff that I've been saying every time this pops up. And click, uh, click OK. So now this might look a little confusing, or it might not. It's very simple. All you have to worry about is that you have these two checked, which you should have them checked um, by default, but... The only thing you really have to worry about pressing is mode and window, which will pop up after we do this with the mode. So you're gonna go to mode, you're gonna click the drop down, and you're gonna press capture specific window. And now here you have the window, and you're gonna click the drop down for that, and you're gonna do whatever your game is, whether you're doing some other game or you're doing Roblox just like me. You're gonna click Roblox player beta. .exe, and you can see the game is there and all you see is actually the game except for on the bottom This is what I mean by it'll only capture your game right now I actually have OBS open on top of um, Roblox, but you can't see it because like I have it as the game capture and it's the only thing that you're seeing Okay, so now I'm gonna show you guys some settings for your recording. I'm just gonna scroll through and um, show you guys. I'm not gonna talk too much, except for at one part, I'm gonna explain it a little bit because it is gonna be like based off of your computer. So let's just get on into it. So you're gonna wanna press settings and this should open up. So this is where I actually changed the theme and here's where you can as well. I'm gonna scroll through and you can just um, copy my settings. Um, I forgot that this should be changed checked this should be checked unless you don't want it to basically when you open obs it would be like oh you have an update and tell you to update now And now once you're done, you're just gonna press apply. Hopefully I didn't go too fast. Also make sure you always press apply because apply is like, it just saves it. So now we're gonna skip the stream tab because I'm not covering streaming, but if you do want me to cover streaming in another video, then let me know down in the comment section below. So we're gonna go to output and it'll take you, so actually you're probably gonna be in output mode. Your output mode up here is probably gonna be in simple. You're gonna wanna make it advanced because then you'll be able to see everything that I see here. So we're gonna skip streaming and we're gonna head straight to recording and you can copy my settings. The recording path, by the way, in case you didn't know, it's where your video saves after you record it. So you can save it wherever you want. So here is everything. Okay, so these are actually settings for my PC, which is like a higher end PC. However, I am going to include settings for a lower end computer because I used to actually have a lower end computer before I upgraded to this one, but those settings are still actually on that computer. I still have it. So I will be taking screenshots of that and I will just put it up after this. So if you wanna just skip to there, I'm putting timestamps in the description, but I do wanna talk a little bit about bitrate, just slightly, and then we'll get on to the next part. Bitrate is something that you can't just copy off of a tutorial. You can, but you're probably gonna have to play around with it and stuff because it is based off of your computer. So bitrate actually controls quality of your video. Um, So you wanna make your bitrate pretty high, but you also wanna be careful because if you have a lower end PC computer, it can actually cause your video to be laggy, as well as higher bit rate can make your file size really, really big. So you want to keep those in mind when picking your bit rate. So if you have a higher end PC, you're probably only going to have to worry about really like making sure your bit rate's not too high. So that way it your file size is like not too huge. But if you have a lower end PC, you're going to have to think about your bit rate for good quality, but also making sure it's low enough. So that way your video is not laggy and you also have to worry about file size so it is going to be a little bit harder for lower end computers but that's why i'm going to put the screenshots for the lower end computers at the end so that's all i wanted to say about bitrate
Okay, so here I do actually just quickly talk about resolution and just this stuff here is also gonna probably differ based off of your computer and what you're looking for. So um, your, your resolution, you're probably gonna wanna make it as big as you can. So for me, my monitor is this size. That's how big I can go, so I went with that. I can easily go with 1920 by 1080. However, this is the size of my monitor, so I felt like I should just go with that. Um, then for the downscale, fi downscale filter, honestly, I can't really explain this because I don't really know it as well as I know bitrate. I just do know that it can affect your quality and how it looks. I have Langzos, but you can also use bilinear, which is the first option. And then here, there's like different FPS. There's like the fractional and then like integer or integral, I forget. And then there's a common. And I would say for Roblox videos, common FPS value, and then just do 60 or 30, whatever you need to do. You can also do fractional, which you can make it 160, but the only reason people do it at 160 is because it can give you a motion blur effect when you are editing it, because you can import it at 120 FPS into your editor. And then if you put it down to 60, I believe it will actually give you motion blur. So you can do that, but it's just for motion blur. And I don't really see that many channels that have motion blur. But if that's something that you want, then that's something you can do. But that's all I wanted to say for this tab. And now we're moving on. So honestly, hotkeys. These are the only hotkeys I have. You don't need hotkeys. I'm just going to say this right now. You don't need hotkeys. There's nothing special about them. It just can make it easier. Like if you want to be able to start recording um, and not like go to OBS and press the stop, start recording or stop recording, you can just set that through hotkeys, which all you have to do is type it on your keyboard, what you wanna be able to type um, to start or stop your recording, but I don't have it. I don't think it's necessary, but if you want it, you can have it. That's how you do it. Now for advanced, just copy my settings. And that is pretty much everything that you need to know about OBS. Don't forget to press apply before you close and then press OK. Press cancel, it will not save anything that you just did. If you press OK before you press apply, I'm not really sure if it will save it. I would say just to be safe, press apply and then OK and it'll close it. you have your OBS pretty much set up. Um, I hope this video was helpful to you and I hope you learned something new. Hopefully I was helpful to you in starting your journey with recording for YouTube. Hope you guys enjoyed. Be sure to comment down below some more tutorials that you would like to see. Um, I hope you enjoyed. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe and have a great rest of your day or night and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye!